Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for February. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. You know, I focus on love, so this could resonate at any time or it may not resonate at all. If you don't believe, then it probably doesn't resonate. Remember, this is a general reading. It's not a private reading. It may or may not. Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces for the month of February at any time in February? What do they need to know? Knight of Cups. This is an offer. It's an offer of love. Somebody may be making an offer to you or you may be making an offer to them. This is, um, you know, following your dreams. Dreaming of love, perhaps. Oh, but it's blocked. Something is blocked. This offer is being blocked. I mean, that's what that is. This is blocked. Somebody has their guard up. <laughs> Somebody has their guard up. Defending themselves to the extreme. From the Seven of Wands to the Eight of Wands. It's like, this is, I don't want to get hurt. You may feel like you're being attacked by somebody or somebody may be feeling like they're being attacked by you. Stuck. Oh, wonderful. Okay, false contract. We got a false contract here. Somebody made a poor decision or there's indecision. This is indecision as well. Indecision about love, about an offer. You have a choice. You have a choice between two. That's what this means. And somebody is in a false karmic contract where there's really no compatibility. This is like this is like the death of an idea. Something dying, ending. A relationship is ending because there's no communication. It's like somebody is blocking communication, blocking a relationship. And there's a lot of pain here. Despair. Regrets. But I have to tell you, there's still an opportunity for love, right? There is. If you could just see it. If somebody is just so focused on the hurt that they can't see that there's still an opportunity for love. They're blocking love. And this person's giving up. Somebody is giving up. Whether it's you or the other person, somebody is giving up the idea that this relationship is ever going to grow. This is an inner knowing. Maybe you know. Maybe you know, Pisces, that this is never going to go anywhere. Maybe you know that this is incompatible. Maybe your intuition is telling you that right now you just have to go within. You have to observe and you need to be silent and you need to protect yourself. Perhaps your intuition is like, you know, I know what I need to do and I know what this is. You know something, put it that way. Your intuition is spot on. 
All right, your intuition is absolutely spot on. Oh, the tower, yikes. Somebody is sacrificing themselves needlessly for a false foundation, a false partnership, okay? And it needs to crumble. Something needs to crumble, but it's like, I don't know why they're not letting it. Trying to avoid something. Hmm. Oh, you trying to avoid this one, the Queen of Pentacles? This woman, she is very jealous. <laughs> she is very possessive. She's stubborn. She's holding an opportunity. A big one. Okay, she's got a big... Somebody's got a big opportunity here. But she, there's a lot of criticism. This this person is very critical because this is critical. So I don't know who you're dealing with, but uh, this person is very critical. She is, and, and like I said, you feel like you're being attacked by this person. You probably do. And then we got this other woman here. Of course we do. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you have a choice between two because this is a choice between two. Um... So we have Gemini, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Scorpio, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let me just make sure that this is zoomed in. You've got a choice. You've got a choice between two people. This is a two. Okay, you do. I know that you have a choice between two. And there's a lot of regrets. There's a lot of regrets. I think there's regrets about probably involving another person. There's regrets about throwing away a golden opportunity to get in yourself involved with a false foundation. Um, this is letting go of an idea, taking a break from, from relationships right now. Maybe you're just like, you know, I need to take a break. I need to take a break right now. I need to block. I need to block building any foundations with anybody right now because right now things are, I'm going within. I'm working on myself. I'm, I'm going through some sort of, I need to just listen and observe right now. You know, you may not want a partnership right now. Somebody may be trying, you may be getting an offer from both of these people and you're like, uh -huh. you know, I don't know about this. I can't, I can't accept anything right now because I need to go within and refocus. I need to, I don't want to get myself into any false commitments right now. It looks to me like you're blocking building. You're blocking building anything with anybody right now because you don't want to have any upheaval. Right now, there's there's still some regrets. I think that you're feeling some sort of pain and regret over something. And now you just need to go within. Yeah. Partnership. Ten of Cups. Healing from the past. So maybe you ha you definitely have an opportunity for love here. If you can let go of the past, let go of the past hurts and forgive. This is forgiveness. There's an opportunity for extreme happiness here with somebody that is perfect for you. But it's like you're blocking. You're blocking a union. Because, you know, you may, there's an apology. This is an apology. You need to act with integrity. Or the other person does, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody needs to, you know, be willing to learn new things and be willing to try new things and really focus on starting over because this is starting over. But there's bitterness here and there's anger and there's resent and there's somebody who's not being logical. Refusing to see something from a new perspective, therefore they're blocking a partnership. There is a partnership that is being blocked. Could be because there's another person. 
I think there's another person here that's in the mix. <coughs> we have all the signs. It could be any sign. Now we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Ooh! Yikes! There's bitterness on both sides. Both people are upset. And it looks like uh, there's too many people here. There's too many people in the mix. There is too many people in the mix. And, you know, three's a crowd. And four is even more of a crowd. So um, four is a big mess. So anyway, I feel as though there is a, definitely a soulmate connection here. There is because these two are soulmates. There's a soulmate connection here in which there's a lot of animosity because somebody uh, was possessive and jealous and said things they shouldn't have said and got other people involved and now there's a bunch of regrets and uh, God, animosity um, and somebody doesn't have the ability to apologize. They're afraid they're going to get be attacked if they do if they do if they do apologize and come with the truth you know and try to heal this situation they're going to get hurt you know they're just going to be shut down they're going to be cut out and they you know there's there's definitely fear of rejection here because this other person is pissed pissed really pissed and so i think that this you know somebody wants to heal these past hurts and right now it's like i I just need to retreat. I need to retreat to figure out how I'm going to handle this situation. I think there's a soulmate connection that somebody regrets. I mean, this is regret. Somebody regrets throwing away and they don't dare to take to apologize because right now where they're at is stable, you know, and they're stubborn too. This is very stubborn energy, not willing to to share, not willing to deal with their insecurities, not willing to give in, not willing to give. Somebody has another opportunity though. And it looks like there's some sort of relationship that is ending because somebody wants something stable and secure and because somebody isn't finding the ability to make a move or communicate we have a relationship that is ending i mean this is a completion it is it's like you can't save it anymore you can't save it it's falling away And you can't save it because of stubbornness. Regrets. Oh, God. So it looks like you guys need to really think about things. Really go below, go up, come, come out of hiding. You're hiding your true feelings. You, I mean, the moon is ruled by the shadow, right? The shadow side. The unknown. What's hidden. All is not as it seems. It's time to let go of your fears. It is. It's time to let go of your fears. Let go of your fears. There's an opportunity to heal these past hurts. This is healing past hurts. You know what you need to do. Or they do. Somebody does. Somebody knows exactly what is going on here. I think it's you. I think your intuition knows exactly what's going on here. I think it's spot on. 
And I think that it's time to end this, this period of despair and anguish and, and, and deal with your fears and make that offer, be, you know. There's, it's like there's a fear of, of being shut down. I think there's also a fear of what everybody else is going to say. But there's a lot of discontent and you're really thinking hard about somebody, about love. You are. You're thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. And there's just like fear that this will never lead to anywhere. But will it? But will it lead to anywhere? What you're, what you're dreaming of, what you're thinking of, what you want to go after. It, do, it, will it lead to anywhere? We have a four, four. <laughs> will it lead to anywhere? Oh, God. Something stable, solid, secure, long term. It's the golden opportunity. It's the best you can get. It's the best possible opportunity. This is something that you can save and you can bank on. It's secure. It's stable. It's solid. It's long term. It's the biggest opportunity that you could ever get. But what advice, what advice do we have for Pisces for February? You got to do the right thing. You got to be honest and you got to tell the truth. Somebody's not telling the truth and they need to tell the truth. They need to be fair and dressed and be held accountable for their actions. And somebody don't want to be held accountable. You have to do the right thing. Or you're going to get bad karma. Because if you don't do the right thing, karma is real. When people do not act with integrity... This shit falls apart until they do. Believe it. I know you do. I know you do. But accepting it, that's another whole story. Anyhow, um, somebody's given up. Somebody is giving up. Say something, I'm giving up on you. We're just going to get you guys one of these. Somebody is discontent and unhappy. Dreaming about something. Dreaming about a love. Wanting it. But not communicating. Therefore, there's a golden opportunity that is probably going to be lost. And taken by somebody else. This is moving. Somebody could be... This is moving. One bit of advice for Pisces in February. Be honest. Speak your truth. You know what you need to do. 
stepping into power. Beautiful. You are strong beyond measure. You are. Take back your power. Stand in your own light. Even if your burden seems heavy, it makes you stronger. If you've been standing on the sidelines or acquiescing to the needs of others, this card is letting you know it's time to stand up for yourself. We talked about this already. The challenges you've faced are making you stronger. You no longer need to live your life for others. Yet, if you choose... Your light can illuminate the path for those who walk beside you. The greatest power is silent and deep. And this is silence. This is. It doesn't need a show of force. It just is. If you've lost or given away your authority to someone or something else, it's time to reclaim it. If you're afraid of standing in your truth because you're afraid of being judged shunned or rejected it's time to let go of your hesitation i can't make this shit up okay i cannot if you've been carrying responsibilities for others you're stronger for it however it's time to decide to either let them go or to continue forward with them but on your terms well you have a remarkable inner spiritual power that is born of sacred love, wisdom, and grace. You do. This is you. You have a choice. Do you want love or not? It's slipping away. It is slipping away. This person is upset, angry, bitter, resentful. And she's given up. She is absolutely giving up, whoever this person is. Because the other person is blocking and not being honest. They're going to lose the biggest opportunity they ever had. Whoever that is. Or they ever, whatever. This is the biggest opportunity you could possibly get. It's a terrible injustice. It really is. But karma knows. Karma knows. Whatever. Good luck, Pisces. <laughs>